Boxing is a spiritual experience. To be a successful athlete, you need discipline. You need to have a certain set of rules that you abide by. Boxing is not a team sport. If anything happens to you in the ring, you know, you can't take a time out, you can't take a break. A teammate can take a spot for a minute. It's all you. And if you're not on your game, it could be trouble. I was born in Odessa, Ukraine, and my family immigrated to Brooklyn, New York in 1991, when I was nine years old. My family came here during, during the wave of, of Russian Jewish immigration in a former Soviet Union. And it's the first time in my life that I've seen you know, certain blocks that were predominantly Jewish, and it was really new to me. I started learning about Judaism, and, and I felt that it gave me strength and inspiration and encouragement in my boxing career. I won the silver gloves in 1995, 1996, and 1997. I won the Junior Olympics in 96 and 98. I won the U.S. Nationals turn pro in 2001. My professional record is 35 wins with one loss. One of the core teachings of Judaism to me is that everybody has a talent, but everybody is put in a certain part of the world for them to make it a better place and for them to, to do good with it. Because there are not a lot of Jewish athletes, I definitely feel pressure. It's irresponsible to say that you don't feel pressure, and I uh, understand that I have a certain level of responsibility. One rabbi told me, God loves nothing more than hard work. I think boxing gym, more than other places, attracts different personalities from different cultures and different backgrounds. <laughs> really helped me learn American culture. Really New York City, uh, at its best. School of Hard Knocks, baby. Stereo City Boxing Club. <laughs> My name is Dimitri Salita, I'm a professional boxer and I'm a New Yorker.